Hi everyone! Meron ba kayong basketball court sa inyong bahay at gusto nyo itong pinturahan? Why not, di ba? Pero meron na ba kayong naisip na design na gusto nyo sundan para sa inyong basketball court? Kung wala pa, share ko sa inyo itong video ang ginawa ko showing step by step from design to implementation ang aming newly painted basketball court. And hopefully, maka-inspire sa inyo. Tara! First of all, let's go to the drawing board. Pakita ko sa inyo kung paano ginawa ng layout. Alright, so as you can see, this is the proposed layout of our basketball court. All the necessary dimensions are indicated in the plan para mas madaling sundan. The free throw line is in standard dimension, but the three point line, we made some modification based on the proportion of the site. The concept design that we are going to apply is the theme of the LA Lakers and a tribute to the late Kobe Bryant. So, sa gitna, yung malaking logo and the two numbers that he uses on both sides. So, yung number 8, alam naman natin, this is the number that he uses uh, when he started his career and then later on, nagpalit siya ng number 24. Para naman sa color scheme, Purple and gold are the brand color of the LA Lakers. In addition to these colors, we are going to introduce the black color as the main base color for the court. The area for the out of bounds in the center box of the free throw line will be the purple color and all the lines, the numbers, and the center logo will be in gold color. Oh, okay ba? Bago naman tayo magpintura, Kailangan siguraduhin muna nating malinis ang ating simento na walang alikabok o lumot para mas lalong kumapit ang ating pintura. Davis Acrylic Spur Coating naman ang aming ginamit na pintura para sa black color na base ng aming flooring. Paalala lamang, siguraduhin lang na meron na itong na-apply na anumang uri ng waterproofing bago pahiran ng pintura. After matuyo ng pintura, it's time now to prepare the layout of the basketball court. In putting the line marks, dito gumamit kami ng tinatawag na pitik or chalk line reel. After establishing all the line marks, we are now putting the tapes as our border guide para mas madali magpintura and to maintain a straight line. Dito naman sa paggawa ng arc para sa free throw line, Nag-improvise kami ng compass gamit lang ang tali at chok para sa pagguhit ng linya. Here my nephew is starting painting the purple color while I'm still finishing putting the tape for the arc of the free throw line. Ah, medyo nakakangawit lang sa likod kaya pahingan mo ng konti. Shout out na rin kay Jordi Flores, my nephew na nag-push ng project na to to make it happen. And also to his father, John F. Flores, na nag-finance ng aming muntim project. Inabot na kami ng dilim, pero tama lang para tapusin pinturahan ang buong free throw lane. At itutuloy na lang uli namin bukas. Good morning once again. Today is our fourth day at itutuloy naman namin ngayon ang pagguhit ng linya para sa outside border at sa 3 point arc. Pati na rin ang pagpintura sa area ng out of bounds. Sa pagguhit ng 3 point arc, same process lang ang aming ginawa. Gumamit pa rin kami ng string at chalk at kumuha ako ng point sa ilalim ng basketball ring. After ng line marking, 
Nagsimula na uli kami maglagay ng tape para maging madali uli ang aming pagpintura. Normally, tama lang ang 3 man job sa simula para sa ganitong klasing trabaho. Isang tao para maglayout, isang main na pinpor, at isa ring assistant dito. Tuloy-tuloy lang ang pagpintura. Yellow gold para sa outlines, purple para sa free throw lane, and outbounds. Ito na ang kabuuan ng aming basketball court. May forma na. Kita mo na ang outline. Shout out na rin sa dalawa kong pintor na si Rainier and Brian. Good work guys. Nakatapos na naman ng isang araw at natapos na rin namin pinturan ang buong court. Logo na lang ang kulang at ready na ang aming basketball court. Ito na guys, nasa 5th day na tayo. Gagawa na kami ng logo, ang kukumpleto sa aming project. Sukat-sukat ulit tayo, pinibilisan ko na ang pag para malagyan na ng tape. Alright guys, nalagay na namin ang logo Pipinturahan na lang ng dilaw After ng logo, isusunod ko naman ang number ni Kobe Bryant Ang number 24 at ang number 8 After namin magpintura, yung elektrisyan naman ang gumawa para magkabit ng mga ilaw. This is it. Tinatanggal na namin ang tape. And konting retouch na lang. At ready na ang aming basketball court. And the whole family is loving it. Enjoy lahat, hindi lang bata, pati na rin matanda. Si wifey, gusto rin mag-shoot ng ball. Let's see if she can take the shot. Oh no, it's short. Pero okay lang yan. Wala ka pa kasing warm-up. Try it again. This time, throw it harder. Yes, pasok! Oha, uh -huh. hindi kaya chamba lang yun. Isa pa nga. Pass again the ball to wifey. Wifey dribbling the ball. You take the shot. Pasok! Of course, pwede rin pang barkada. And welcome din ang mga tropa para maglaro dito sa aming newly painted na basketball court. So guys, this is the finished product of our hard work. At dito na rin magtatapos ang aking video. Thank you for watching guys. Hopefully naka-inspire ang video ito sa inyo. If you have any questions, suggestions, kindly write it down in the comment sections. And please do subscribe on my channel and hit that notification bell for more upcoming videos. Until next time, and remember, always enjoy life and not to worry too much because Jesus loves you and he will never leave you nor forsake you. God bless you.